Hi everybody, this is Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And welcome to my quarterly series on my channel, my summer 2019 plat tour, where I break down my collection in four parts. The front of my home, inside of my bathroom, inside of my studio, and outside in my patio. I have about 400 plants and I live in Southern California where it's pretty much summer all year long. So a chunk of my collection do live outside. So I hope you guys enjoy my last part of my summer 2019 plant tour. And I wanted to go ahead and make sure I film this before I head out of the country in a week to the Philippines where I'm going to go ahead and celebrate my birthday. So stay tuned for hopefully some Filipino content on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy seeing the update to my patio. My grandma did do a little changes. Also, thumbs up the video for my grandma spending numerous hours on my plant collection uh, to get this place ready to be toured for the channel. There's a lot of hard work and endless hours when you are dealing with hundreds of plants. Everybody needs attention and it's a 24 seven thing. So I wanna give my grandma also a big thank you for plant sitting my collection and Ebby while I go on my trip to the Philippines. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing an update of my collection and what my space looks like in my patio for summer 2019. And also stay tuned at the end of the video, I will be doing my last giveaway for summer 2019 plant So tour. here is a quick overview of my patio as you enter. No major changes in my space right away until we walk in and you'll see a few things that we switched around. You can't see my fountain from the entryway until you step on in and look to the left and then it is hidden right behind a bunch of plants. I really like that. It has that secret garden vibe. And my succulent shelf is still in the front part of my patio. I really love having my succulent shelf live here. My grandma actually took it apart yesterday and cleaned it up and put it back together. So thank you, Grandma. Walking into this section here, you see a bunch of my hanging plants on my DIY system. So I love that a lot. My Tiffany Blue table, where I do a bunch of my filming for my channel, is still in the same place. Favorite parts of my patio space would have to be my wicker table, where it houses a bunch of different plant babies. I love anything vintage and wicker, so I am making a lot of use out of this wicker set that I got from Las Vegas Thrifted. Since my spring 2019 plant tour, my grandma decided to switch up the layout in this back section of my patio. So you see my vintage plant stand in the corner now where my red Congo used to live. George got propped it up and my wicker chairs are still in the back. So in this section here, my grandma just decided to put my red Congo on this side of the patio and just rearrange my propagation station in a diagonal so it's not against the wall, just for a different look. My ponding bench didn't move. I like it here and we'll see maybe Next year, I'll go ahead and move things around. But for now, I kind of like how I have everything set up. Here's another point of view of my space. And I love sitting on the wicker chair out here and having this point of view. I did add a bunch of hanging plants onto the door. Why not? I thought that was genius to go ahead and decorate the door. So now that you got a quick little overview and update on the space, let's go ahead and walk around and take a tour. You enter my space. There are two macrame hangers, one with my philodendron Brazil, which is doing really good. It's been living here for quite some time. It was here for my last plant tour. I love having it here where it trails. And then on the opposite side, I have two of my Hoyas, my Crimson Princess and my Pee Wee Calyx, both doing great. It's been living here for quite some time as well. I love the double macrame hangers. All of my macrame hangers in my patio are from Amazon and it's linked in my Amazon store in my description box. So that's the two macrames that are set up in the front entrance. Now, when you look down here, there's a bunch of cool things and I love being able to have a path full of plant babies. So I have four succulents on the right side of my entryway. Out of the four plant babies here, my Cressula Gloom was here from the last plant tour. I have my Dancing Bones Ripsalis on the left end there, which I got from my neighborhood plant nursery here in Santa Monica. It has beautiful orange blooms, almost looks like candy, but it's not in bloom right now, a lot of new growth. And then my Kalanchoe here, I had 
from a couple months back now i actually got the same plant for catherine when i was plant shopping by myself doing a come with me in lakewood and it was very good it was pink and yellow full of blooms when i purchased it and that's kind of the reason why i bought it it doesn't look like that now but hopefully in the future and then i have my i want to say this is rescue purchased from reseda from that big plant nursery i did a come with me with catherine and it's just some sedums that i thought needed to be rescued i think i probably got it for five dollars so that's the four plant babies on the right side as you enter on the left side of my patio entryway you see my pink ice here in the low dish bowl which i got as a free planter did that big pot haul there are so many planters there i love it i have to go back to get more planters and then i decided to bring out my silver dollar vine from inside of my home to outside because i think it's going to do better outside it's so slow growing so i try to do my best and for me it's considered a rare plant so i hope i can see it grow on me over the couple of years up ahead now let's talk about the rip salises as you can see, they're throughout my home and my collection. I'm a huge fan of Ripsalises. So these three plants got recently placed here. It hasn't been living here for too long, maybe for a day or two. I hope that they'll do better with more sunlight in this little corner pocket. You'll see in my space, I will maximize and have plants everywhere as much as possible. And it really gives a jungle feel. So that is the three plants currently living on the left side of my patio as soon as you enter. So let's talk about the plant shelfie here. This is my succulent shelfie and I am living for this part of my patio. My grandma actually took it apart yesterday, cleaned it up and restyled the plant baby. So thank you grandma so much. Let's go ahead and break down what's currently living here. And as we were getting this space ready for the plant tour for summer 2019, there's a bunch of babies that actually I took out that's going to be going into the greenhouse because they weren't looking that great. I'll go ahead and discuss what's going on in the greenhouse in a later video. Single Bananas is doing really good. You've seen it in a recent propagation video for succulents. And I can't wait to see an update on the aerial roots when they pop up. And one of my many bear paws here succulents that are furry my bear paw collection is pretty cool looking i have a bunch but try to not touch them because they do fall apart you see here on the bottom of the planter i have tons of paws here anytime i touch them they fall off so it's one of those very fragile plants that you don't want to actually move if you don't have to and then here i just have a little campfire jade cutting in a little planter that i got from daiso japan I'm try my best to remember where i got all of these plant babies this one came from a plant nursery in pasadena california this baby probably came from las vegas i've had this now for well over two years this one probably maybe for a year one of my finicky plants here my peperomia and I talked about it in my 10 dramatic plants. I believe I got this one from Las Vegas. And then my pickle plant, which was, I believe, a split with Catherine. And then here's one of my favorite euphorbias that I recently acquired from the plant show this summer. If you haven't seen the Come With Me in Encino, go ahead, check it out. I have some Kalanchoes here. And this probably is a baby that I rescued as a petal and then it grew into a beautiful succulent and then this is what happens when your plants fall and you have to propagate it so i was really sad when this happened but i'm propagating the fallout now here's probably another baby that i rescued this sign i love having it in my space this is a gift from my mom so thank you mom and actually it should say home is where your plants live <laughs> i don't even remember maybe pasadena rosewood flea market and then here's a string of buttons that I want to say I got from my Los Angeles flea market. I don't know how I remember these things. I will try my best. Another Echeveria, which I probably got from Las Vegas as well. This is my favorite style of planters. And then here's another Cressula Galoon, which I probably got from Las Vegas over two years ago. And then back here, I want to say this is a Haworthia. What kind? I am not too sure. Um, there's a baby here, so that's pretty cool. And then these squill babies came from Carrie, which she recently gave me when I went over to her house. So thank you, Carrie. Another Echeveria. And when it's leggy like this, I just let it be. I don't mind at all. 
sometimes I think it looks a little charming and has a lot of character when it starts stretching out but if it's like really ugly and long then I'll go ahead and and take care of it and I'll show you one in a second that really needs some TLC and then here's what's going on with my Echeveria prolifica this is one of my favorite prize plant babies which I got from the Reseda nursery Catherine and I got the same plant but when I was filming one day it dropped and the top of it fell off so that's very unfortunate but this is the current look and then another Echeveria which I probably got from Las so Vegas. That's what's living on the top shelf. This is the way how I like to style my succulents individually. At one point, a couple years ago, I used to have them in like a garden type of style where they're all together but this is kind of the look that I like now. So my grandma decided to style the second shelf I guess with trailing babies as I see. So that's pretty interesting. And I have a bunch of different things that has just been growing like a donkey's tail. I don't know where I got these two. Probably Las Vegas. My Cressula, my watch chain is acting like a wild child here. I don't know what to do with him. He's living in an owl planter which I think is adorable. Don't know where I got this from. Probably from the Bay Area as a cutting from my host uh, plant collection last summer. So it's living in an ice cream planter and another Della Sperma which looks pretty similar to the one that was on the top shelf and I want to say maybe this one came from that plant nursery in Pasadena. This is a very cool thrifted planter from Arizona and then here's another one too, same family. This puts off yellow blooms and there's none. There's no yellow blooms at the moment, but super cute yellow blooms. Catherine and I also got the plant at the same time in Reseda. Another succulent baby that's wild and crazy and leggy, but I just let it be. And I just, I don't mind. It's fine for me. A few here and there won't hurt. So that's everything living on the second shelf. My grandma decided to have a bunch of trailing succulents on the second shelf. So that's pretty cute, grandma. And then of course you'll see owls throughout my collection because I collect them and love owls so much. So I have a flapjack here. This is a baby that I propagated. I love that white planter. I wish there was more. I got it from Home Goods Las Vegas. And I see looks like some aeoniums here. And this is actually some plant cuttings back here that I got from the Bay Area last summer from my host. I don't know what it is but it's pretty cool and I love looking at it. And then right here you'll see some compacted jelly bean sedums that was a gift and a split with Catherine from a West Los Angeles plant nursery. We did a come with me. I love aeoniums. I'm gonna have to do an aeonium collective video and they're all gifted to me which is pretty cool. I really love this style of planter. I got this from the 99 cent store, variegated bear paw. Again, I try to not touch them. There's a lot of fallouts. I just place them here. And more leggy babies. I don't mind every here and there, so I try to not touch them. And then this got recently put here. This is one of my ripsalises. I figured why not? There hasn't been a ripsalis on the succulent shelfie and then I decided to also put my string of watermelons here to switch it up. It's been living in my Tiffany blue table for a while but I just brought it here two days ago and I think it blends in pretty good. Now let's see what's going on on this corner here. I have another Cressula Galoon which I probably had for about two years. Here's another Los Angeles flea market baby and it's kind of stretched out. When I first bought this at the flea market it was short and compacted and then now it's like a little leggy and then there's some kind of interesting bloom happening here. I don't know I just kind of let it be. And here is another baby that I recently got from Carpinteria. Catherine got the same plant baby from the Pasadena Roseville flea market and it was a really cool day. I got a bunch of cool plants from this so nursery. This area is on the way to Santa Barbara. I really like that nursery. There were some cool plants there. And then this is some jade that I want to say was gifted to me from my host in the Bay Area. As you can see, they're like miniature jades. Aren't they so cute? I love the look of that. So that's everything living on the third so shelf. Talk about the last shelf down here. I never forget them even if they're on the bottom. 
there's a bunch of interesting things here and again my grandma styled the succulents last night so let's see what she did here I don't know where I got this plant baby from it looks a little sad and stretched out but maybe this is just the way how it looks like I'm not sure and I don't know where I got this one from it could be from maybe Pasadena Roseville flea market this was probably a cutting from Evelyn in Long Beach from her mom's house I have more sedum type babies some bear paws here and here's a squill baby from Catherine doing good Ooh, here's another fun one so from the same nursery in Carpentaria I got a variegated watch chain this is probably one of my prized succulents in my collection like look at this beauty how stunning I have more donkey's tail echeverias random things down here love them all and then in this section here I have some gasterias which I got from my Las Vegas $25 haul and some mini aeoniums which I probably got hmm don't know where I got this but I'm thinking maybe Pasadena Roseville flea market maybe so that's everything living on the bottom shelf let's talk what's living in front so here is where my crested baby fell and had an accident and now it's propagating into a new baby that's sad and unfortunate I knocked it down accident when I was filming there's another baby which I should actually propagate I don't know I've never had a crested baby look like this before like take a look at it it needs help I don't know what to do with him um, I just kind of want to have him live like this and I don't know this is just what's going on right now with my baby he's weird interesting but um I just kind of have him living life like this looks kind of sad I want to fix him up I'm probably gonna have to propagate the baby and for now I just kind of have them living together because why propagate if I don't want to make more So down here I have more variegated bear paws it's very tiny I don't know where I got this one from probably from Pasadena Roseville flea market and then here are my Pelia babies that I love having in my patio so these ones I can gift I can sell I can trade they're just for whatever and out of all of my babies beside my crested baby that fell down on my succulent shelf this echeveria it needs help and it's been living in this owl planter's entire life and I'm like propagated his fallouts he's very long and leggy and I want to help him I'm just scared to touch him but you know he's one of those fragile babies where if, if you try to move him he'll fall apart so I'm probably going to cut here put this in a whole new planter and then the petals I'll just propagate so this will be in like my next planting with Julin uh, project for the collection he's been with me for over three years and living in this planter's entire life so I'm gonna have to fix him up as a project Talk about so. the two house plants that are living right in front of my door of my studio I have my beautiful Tritoscantia which I'm absolutely in love with I got this from Poway California and there's always little purple blooms popping through love having this here I actually gave Catherine and Carrie some cuttings and it's just so stunning if you look at it really close there is silver streaks on it like how stunning is this right so love having that as you enter into my space and then you've seen this guy before on my channel this is my jade pothos jade pothos I love having it here and it's been with me for over three years it's long it's growing lots of new growth look at this beautiful shiny new leaf love that a lot and lots of new growth mm -hmm. interesting growth happening here that I would like to go ahead and fix up so as you can see as I try to untangle it a lot of new growth here look at this beautiful shiny new leaf it's looking cute in a cobalt blue planter Here's one more quick look of everything I just went over on my succulent shelf I think the way how my grandma styled the succulents on here is really cute so thank you grandma love having this as I enter into my space talk about what's living on the left side of my patio as you enter my beautiful fountain is running 24 7 when I am home and I am in love 
and I can't believe I have one finally in my possession so here's my beautiful fountain and I love having plants all around it if you're interested in this fountain or any of the macrames again it's in my Amazon store link is in my description box so let's talk about my thrifted bench here that I got for $15 from my neighborhood Goodwill here in Santa Monica it's so cute I have a bunch of babies here so I have my rescue anthuriums which is doing really good I got these from San Gabriel last year with my grandma as rescues it's living in terracotta planters and then I have my Las Vegas rescue here living in a cobalt blue and white planter this was a plant in the trash I believe um, Catherine has hers doing really good in her bathroom and then here's some I want to say some kind of Cressula and this is actually cuttings from the Bay Area from my host last summer it's doing good in an owl planter and then here we recently put my philodendron mykins here hopefully it loves living here this is my repurchased baby because my original one died and i love being able to have this in my space so it's living here in a white planter very close to the fountain Let's talk about what's living currently on my three-tier wire planter that i sprayed white and i got this as like a really cheap find from home goods las vegas this is my blue fern and i love this fern so much i recently got this this year just maybe like two months ago look how well it's doing i love it next to the fountain and then we recently put my maranta one of them here i feel like my marantas do really good outside if they're by my fountain so here's one of them in a terracotta planter and then down here i recently put my bridalville tritiscantia on the third bottom level of this plant stand and it was getting really big in my bathroom hanging over my shower so i decided to take it out and put a different tritiscantia that's more trailing and not bushy in that area so it's now living here and i think it's doing great it's just been here maybe for a day or two so let's see and then down here on the bottom is my bird's nest fishtail fern i collect ferns if you watch my collective series you've seen this before down here you see one of my sigoniums my arrowheads i don't have a lot you'll see another one shortly but there's a lot of new growth so that's good it's propped up on a planter turned upside down so I'll do that for planters that I'm not currently using. I'll use them as little plant stands. This is my one of few Sigoniums arrowheads in my collection. And it's doing good here. So love being able to have just a few in my collection. In front of my fountain, I have my Philodendron Xanadu. I'll do a Philodendron collective soon. I did one for Catherine's collection. And it's living in a white planter that I got from Home Goods Las Vegas. And speaking of Catherine, here is the variegated peace lilies that she gifted me for my birthday a year ago. And when I last talked about it in my 10 plants in bloom, it wasn't opened up. But look, look at how pretty it is. I have only this one peace lily in my collection. And of course, it had to be variegated. So love that a lot. Here, my grandma decided to put all of George's babies around the fountain. So these are all for sale or I can gift them, trade them. And I love propagating from him. He is a giver, so if you're interested, reach out to me. And originally, George was living here, but now he got moved to a different part of my space. You'll see in a second. But all of his babies now live by the fountain to give it that jungle vibe. So my grandma decided to put my Maranta next to the fountain. This is my most recent Maranta purchase. And I got this from, I want to say West Hollywood. It's doing good. I have it in a white planter and it's long and traily, so I hope it does well by the fountain. It was hanging over the fountain until I switched out to a white ceramic planter. So far, so good. And then my grandma decided to put my second Hoya Obovada on the bottom part of my vintage plant stand here. So this has been living here for maybe a day or two. And you recently seen it with the Clean With Me series with all of my other Hoya Obovadas, but this is my second mother plant. On the top part of my vintage plant stand is my prize red edge peperomia. That thing is so big. It's been living on the top of this vintage plant stand its entire life, and I love looking at it. It is so huge, and I'll give you a different point of view when I talk about the plants behind the Tiffany Blue table. Let's talk about the four plants that are hanging above the fountain. Here's my prized Peperomia scandens variegata. I want to consider this a rare plant. I haven't seen this plant in person besides the one I have in my collection, 
and I believe I got this from Pasadena Roseville Flea Market over a year ago. Here is my second string of dolphins. This was the plant that I featured in uh, Plant Life with Van Life. It's doing so, so good. The planter that the string of dolphins is living in actually came from my online purchase with my Hoyas from Alaska. So I just repurposed it for succulents. And you'll see here my prize cactus fern, which was a birthday plant gift from my grandma. And I seen this one in Santa Barbara a year ago and I had to have it. Love this plant so much. One of my priceless plants. On the right is my most recent purchased plants, at least one of them. Haven't talked about it in a haul or any videos yet. You'll see it in the future. And this is a Tritoscantia Zabrina Green Silver. And I love seeing this in my collection. So I got this from San Gabriel when I recently took Carrie for a come with me. We both got matching plants. So I will go ahead and talk about this in an upcoming haul with my other purchased plants in the future. My grandma recently put my bird's nest fern in this part of my patio as of like a day or two. And it's living on a Tiffany blue plant stand right in front of my grill. And my grandma thinks it looks great there. So I said, okay, why not? And I love having this baby in my collection. She's so stunning, love her. That takes care of everything around my beautiful fountain and you see I do have a few cuttings on the top there that's some aristonine cuttings from Carrie and then uh, just some fallout some some tritoscantias. On to everything on and around my Tiffany blue table which I absolutely love having it's thrifted I got it for a few dollars and I painted it Tiffany blue and it's my all-purpose table it's for everything eating editing doing work, filming, planting, potting, all of that stuff. And my chairs are actually thrifted too and I got them for $5 each, so very inexpensive. Let's talk about my vintage plant stand here, which I got from a vintage dish shop in Las Vegas. I love it a lot, so I have it here living with my variegated Peperomia obtusifolia, one of my prized plant babies. I just love the way how it's growing. It's been living here its entire life. It's one of my favorite plants to look at when I enter my space, so it lives there. And then on the bottom, I recently put one of my prized Peperomias here on the left. It's actually living next to my fountain, but I decided to put my bridal veil there instead. And then of course, my ponytail palm is living its best life in my patio. It's been living here off and on between inside of my home and outside in my patio and it's doing really great. I had this plant in my collection for about three years from Las Vegas. Here on the opposite side, you will see my beautiful umbrella plant, which is a rescue from my mom in Las Vegas. It was in our Las Vegas home and then some from me. And then here you see my beautiful prize original mother plant my Hoya obovada so I have two mother plants this is my biggest one and it's doing so good look at it it's like growing like crazy I'm actually living on top of my wicker table for quite some time and decided to style it here and then I have another Hoya pubicalyx which I probably got from if not here in California then maybe Arizona and my grandma decided to put my sense of area baseball here on the bottom of my plant stand and I think it looks cute. I love it. One of my prize babies that I got from Poway, California. So nearby San Diego. So that's everything on this section of the Tiffany Blue table. Behind my Buddha head, you see my beautiful Boston fern. On the right of it, you see my beautiful Hoya Carnosa tricolor. I'll give you another point of view in a second. And right on the left of my Buddha head is my Aglionema. My Chinese evergreen that is in Lekka Balls, which was a gift, a cutting from Carrie. It's doing great there. And in front and here, I have my Pelia Peppermiotis baby, my largest one I've propagated. There's tons of babies in there. I think maybe in time, I'm gonna have to switch it to a bigger planter. And then behind that, you see some mini Aeoniums, which is in my teacup planter, my original Moroccan Mount Euphorbia that I gifted a baby to Catherine was living in there so it was that small now it's big so I have these miniature aeoniums here and I got this actually from a garden center here in Los Angeles a recent Ripsalis rescue purchase and I got it from some random plant shop on the way back from San Diego and it's doing good I'm gonna have to propagate it very soon for my next planting with Julian I talked about it 
but I haven't touched it because I want to save it for a video but it was growing crazy and then right above it you'll see my original Rick Rack zigzag and I love this and actually that part of the plant is still here that I was kind of questioning I don't know what it is some people were saying it's a fruit some people saying it's seed some people saying it's a bloom I don't know what it is so I'm just gonna leave it there and of course lots of new growth look at this isn't this so cute all the little new growth I do have a couple more babies left so if you guys are interested grandma decided to put my alocasia regal shield back in a planter this time it's in a royal blue cobalt blue planter and we just have it here on top of my Tiffany blue table we'll find a spot for it but for now it's here and it was living in the greenhouse if you remember so actually went to my bathroom got mealybugs. bugs we chopped off all its leaves went back into the greenhouse grew two new leaves and my grandma potted up yesterday to have it here in the patio for the tour so it's doing good so that's a little update on my regal shield and things happening in this corner so behind here is my prize Aeonium sunburst variegated crested love that a lot it's so cool I have a lot of senecios here my string of pearls of course I can get it bigger if I want to but my original one didn't do good so I went back and I got a smaller one and it's cascading all alongside this little plant stand that I got from Daiso here's a fun update of my variegated string of pearls which I got from Santa Barbara same plant nursery that I went to for my cactus fern and then here is my string of raindrops doing really good and then down here is my recent plot purchase this is from a nursery in North Hollywood I got more of the peperomia angulata I want to go ahead and add these three to the planter of my other two that I got from West Hollywood I love peperomia so when I seen these at that nursery I had to go back and get them so they're here I'll talk about them in my next planting with Julin with my other purchase plant that I recently got So here's some Hoyas on the opposite side of the plant stand, I have my beautiful Hoyas that I got from an online purchase. I did an unboxing, the Kentiana, and then I think this is a Palita, if I'm not mistaken. So these two came from Alaska. Love them a lot. They were rare for me. And then behind here, I have my other Hoya, Hoya Mini Bell. So this is a Hoya Mini Bell, which came from the same seller in Alaska. So I got three, and they look so, so cute. And then this is one of many Hoya Carnosa tricolors that I have in my collection. I have like four and they're everywhere in my space. But look at it. Look at how pretty this is. I mean, how can you not? I do have a few babies rooted up in my greenhouse if anyone is interested. So let's move on to what's going on in the back end of the Tiffany Blue Table because... You may not see this on my planting with Julian, but there is tons of babies everywhere on this Tiffany Blue table. My beautiful copper tome, one of my rare babies here. This is uh, what's left after the rain. And then I have more Sensivarias kind of around here. So you'll see Sensivarias coming up very soon. These are the three that we decided to group up here in the corner. I think they look great. I believe this Sensivaria came from, I want to say West Hollywood. I'm not too sure where this one came from. Maybe West Hollywood as well. But what's living on the back side of my Tiffany Blue table. And I love this part of my space as well. So I have my vintage wicker chest here housing propagation bottles. My crazy donkey's tail. I don't know what to do with it. Burrow's tails, donkey's tail. They're very hard to take care of once you plant them up don't touch them because they're gonna fall apart so I just let it cascade over and live its wildlife here and here and is one of I want to say an epiphyllum and I got this from a mom and pop nursery in the middle of nowhere um, on the way going to San Diego I need to go back because I got like a really cool rip salis from there too so I don't know I don't know what to do with him and there's little pricklies on him too so of course another unidentified baby i don't know exactly what he is but i want to say he's some type of epiphyllum and i have him in a white planter and then behind here next to my rip salis and my teacup is another of carrie's babies here's her squill doing really good and i have it growing in this cup that my mom gifted me but look look at this so here's a little update 
So these two here came from Carrie, the Aglionema and the squill and it's doing good from Carrie. So thank you Carrie. In front of my grill, here's another point of view behind the Tiffany Blue table so you get to see my beautiful bird's nest fern and another point of view of my red edge pepper Romeo. So here's a point of view from the opposite side of the Tiffany Blue table. Eonium cuttings that I got as a big plant cutting haul from my host in the Bay Area last summer. It was so cool. If you haven't watched her plant tour that I did at her house in the hall of all the cuttings, she just basically let me take whatever I wanted. And look, it's doing good. This planter here is also listed in my Amazon store. I love it a lot. And my stand-ins, uh, Variagata, is living in this and it's doing good. Here is one of my prize babies from the Reseda Partner. She, I, yeah, I went crazy there. And when I seen this, it was ID as Grandiflora. Not too sure if it's a mistaken ID. But there's beautiful, cute white blooms that happened once on this plant since I purchased it. Never seen it again. And I love this thing so much. It's one of my prized babies in my collection. He's weird. He's interesting. I love him. And then I sprayed this cocoa liner basket white. So I love different cocoa liner baskets. I don't have any duplicates. And if I do get more, I would like to put Ripsalises in so it. So let's talk about what's going on directly behind the Tiffany Blue table along the wall here of my space. So this is my propagated babies all rooted up. I have uh, mini Bob Marley. So Bob Marley Jr., all his cuttings that fell off him. So my cactus fern and Bob Marley, my epiphyllum, they have a lot of fallouts and I propagate them all. So this is their propagated rooted babies that I recently shared on the channel. And then one of my whale fins that I propagated off of the mother plant. This is rooted. So all of this is up for sale or I can put them back with my mother so plant. Here is one of my beautiful Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. And I actually got this from Las Vegas. Believe it or not, my one and only Hoya I've ever come across in Las Vegas. And I have it in a macrame setup and in a white planter. So it's living here, doing good. Next to it is my prize string of hooks. You guys seen it recently on my propagation videos where I propagated a bunch from every single strand I think we did cuttings from. And other than that, it's doing good. I love this. I got this from Pasadena Roseville Flea Market and I have it styled in a terracotta macrame setup. So next to my string of hooks is my ruby necklace. I love this thing so much. And I got this interesting planter from a come with me I did in San Diego. I didn't buy any plants, but I bought this hanger. And then right next to it, is another Ripsalis I recently got from Las Vegas, believe it or not. So this is like probably one of the few Ripsalises I've seen in Las Vegas. And it is full grown. And I have this plant already in my collection. Very small compared to this one. But when I seen this one, I was like, no way. I have to get it. I've never seen a Ripsalis this long. So I will repurchase plants for X, Y, and Z reasons and I had to repurchase the plant in Las Vegas because of the massive size it is. I love it. And this time for this Ripsalis, I have it in Coco Coir mixture and I think it's doing great. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I do see some little growth here. So I hope it's happy in Santa Monica. That's the point of view of my beautiful Hoya Compacta, my Hindu rope. I love it. It was a plant gift from Tristan and there's no blooms on it now but when it was given to me as a gift it was in full bloom from a nursery in Canoga Park so thank you Tristan. Now let's talk about what's living on my DIY brick and wood shelf here. Half of my plant collection rotates so all of the plants currently living on this shelf never lived here before until just a couple of days ago. Originally on both of my shelves here against my patio walls were all Sensevarias, but I decided to bring the Sensevarias out when I did my video and they haven't gone back since. So now I have a Ripsalis here, which I got from that mom and pop nursery on the way to San Diego. I have one of my Hoyas, which is a repurchased Hoya. I think the original one I got didn't do good. Again, with another Hoya that I had to repurchase that didn't do good. So these two Hoyas, I will not get again if they die on me. These are repurchased from my favorite plant nursery in West Hollywood and what's left of it. So hopefully it loves living in this area. Taking up housing now on the bottom shelf is another bear paw cuttings from Carrie's Pepper Romeo, which I want to say is Glabella like mine's, I'm not sure. 
and then another rare caldex type baby so this is what's currently taking up real estate on the shelf no more sense of areas here, at least not for now. And then here on this shelf, it's pretty much empty except I have my Epidendrum Orchid, which you'll see in a second. But on just recently the other day, it was filled with my sense of areas. But since I filmed that video of my sense of area collective, I haven't put them back. Plus now I have more plants right in front of the shelf, so you can't really see much. But if anything, I can put propagated babies there is what I would use the shelving for now. So here's a quick little overview of the section I just went through. So this is on the back side of my Tiffany blue table. So I do use all of my space and right against the so wall. Let's move on to what's going on and around my wicker vintage table. Mostly sensitive areas and I've added a few house plants and this so is new. I styled the plants like this after I filmed my sensitive area collective. I love having the sensitive areas grouped up together. When I seen them grouped up for the collective video, I just couldn't get over it. So you all know I lost a bunch of sensitive areas earlier this year when I traveled. Hopefully I won't be losing any more soon. I'm trying to rebuild mine. I have over 20. Say this particular baby came from my plot nursery here in santa monica the moon glow probably from west hollywood don't know where i got this one from but it's like some cylindrica like fernwood kind of hybrid don't know the exact name this one i probably got from west hollywood this cylindrica came from las vegas like three years ago my banzo sensation came from pasadena rose bowl flea market this one probably came from West Hollywood as a repurchased baby. This is one of my most prized sense of areas in my collection. Half of it got destroyed from the rain while I was in Egypt. So this is the surviving half of what's left. And I got this from my local flea market here in Los Angeles. And then this is one of my newest sense of areas that I got from West Hollywood as well. I love this one a lot. It's like kind of thick and like a deep groove in the leaf i love it a lot my alocasia that's doing really good i need to find a bigger planter for this baby uh, because the root ball is pretty much just as big as this planter but hey besides that it's loving life here lots of new growth so new leaf new leaf new leaf new leaf a bloom like yeah it's doing good but when i go planter shopping i'm gonna have to get a bigger planter for it in front is mini george so this is my original monstera i got it in las vegas three years ago and this is its first split do you see that look at how cute first split a lot of new growth i believe carrie has a baby from this mother plant love it a lot and i really like the planter i got this planter from las vegas it's like a ombre planter and then back here is one of my prize philodendrons i love aeroids love them a lot this was from a really cool plant nursery here in california and i got some really cool philodendrons there so it now lives outside here because it was living on the ground of my bathroom door section if you remember in my last plant tour but it got so big i had to bring it out so it's now living its best life out here and I think it's doing really good on the left side of my Buddha head. So here's what's left of my Sigonium. It's trailing, it's long. This thing was living in my bathroom originally on the corner pocket of my DIY shelf. And then it moved next to the fountain and then we recently put it here. So hopefully it'll love life here. Sigoniums are hmm, dramatic plants so Try not to buy them, but this is the few that I have living. And then here's my Hoya Carii Variegata, what's left of it. I think when I bought it, it looked like this. Got it from Chinatown here in Los Angeles. I don't think it's ever gonna grow on me. It's one of those things like if you buy it with one heart, it won't grow, except it'll just stay like a heart. So I think it's just gonna stay like that forever. And here is another sense of area, which I wanna say I got from somewhere in California I can't remember now but I do remember where I got this one and I got this twisted sense of area from my Santa Monica plant nursery where I got my dancing bone rip salis living in a cute white planter that I got from TJ Maxx Las Vegas here's the status of my second Pelia peppermioides and as you can see a lot of its leaves fell off when it got knocked over when my maintenance guy came over 
so that's pretty upsetting but a lot of babies and I gifted one recently to Catherine propagated many and the big one on my table with babies is a baby from this mother plant believe it or not but it is the spaced out version which I love a lot and it's doing good so I'm gonna have to stake him up so that he can stand tall I recently but put it in a cobalt blue planter it's like a low dish I think it's better so the babies can breathe and grow here in front of the Buddha head I have like a little fern wood which I got from my Los Angeles flea market I need to go back what's left of my original starfish half of it went missing from the rain I'm pretty upset about that this is like Three years old from Las Vegas, Kira and I got matching starfishes. I was really excited when I came across it for the first time. Here's another fern wood and my subscribers actually has a big section of it as well. And then my most recent baby that I got from the Bay Area. Both of them live here. My alocasia stingray and my monstera is also living here. So these two came from the bay area if you watch that oh love it a lot love them so now they live here and then this is another sense of area that catherine and i got matching plants in reseda so it was a big plant day for us there and then here's my repurchased samurai sense of area my original one was from las vegas kira and i got matching plants and then it died from the rain and i got this as a repurchased baby in long beach and here's my repurchased baby my curly spider plant, my original one is living in my greenhouse. You've seen it in 10 dramatic plants. But this one is doing good and it's living in a white planter. That's what's on and around my wicker table. And I think I love how it's styled right now. I love looking at this section on my patio. Here's some of my fiddle leaf figs. I have some in my home. This is what's living outside. Look at how big the leaf is. Like, Look at how stunning, right? Love it a lot. These are all from Las Vegas lots of new growth they love living in the patio take a look at this three baby leaves love it a lot so on the right side of my hoya compacta i have another hoya pubicalyx i have a ripsalis which i got from that mom and pop nursery on the way back from san diego and then my original hoya bella which i got from northridge which bloomed on me i shared it on my channel recently and then look at this do you see this my one epidendrum orchid is blooming on me yet again for the third time look at it the third time it's giving me blooms i can't believe it so three beautiful bloom stalks came so back it's living in a liquor ball setup and it's bloomed on me three times since i put it in the liquor ball setup so here's a fun update of my epidendrum orchid so in this back pocket in my last plant tour for spring 2019 my red congo philodendron was here along with my bird's nest fern now my grandma switched it out to have the vintage plant stand here on the left instead of in the center of my wicker chairs i think it's great and then and back then here i have my burgundy rubber plant and we have it lifted up on a diy plant stand it's doing good it's in a big planter hopefully it loves living here Top part of my vintage wicker plant stand i have my original spider plant doing really good propagated many babies off of it my hawaiian spider plant which i absolutely love is doing good and i see some babies up there so that's cute and then of course another hoya bella this is my second hoya bella which i'm really excited to report that i will be getting bloom soon so if you look throughout the whole plant i will be getting bloom soon so apparently the hoya bella is a giver lots of new growth i got this from canoga park from the same plant nursery that my hoya compacta came from and then there was my goldfish plant living on this shelf but we decided to move it inside of the home and then i believe my peperomia angulata when i repot them into a bigger pot they'll live here on this shelf next to this owl and then here's my original string of dolphins doing really good here is my crescilla multicava catherine and i got it the same time I love the multi kava so it lives here on the bottom section and so that is the overview of my vintage plant stand so this recently got moved here this week and then I have a bunch of my watering cans here but at the rate of where my collection is at with hundreds of plants I just bring in my holes and water my plants here's the vintage wicker chairs which I got from Las Vegas with the matching wicker coffee table I love it a lot and my grandma had made new covers for it of course matching my aesthetic Tiffany blue is my favorite color 
Here is George now living his best life. I can't believe it. He's so stunning. Living his best life. And now we have him on top of a wicker table to prop him up. I think he looks fantastic displayed this way, front and center. And then here is my original philodendron panda. And again, half the size of my second purchase one. But I love it a lot. I love collecting philodendrons, aeroids, love them a lot. Here you'll see my Peperomia obtusifolia. Love it a lot. And it's living in a cute planter that I got thrifted, I wanna say, from Arizona. So these are the three plants that recently got put here. And I love it. I love the switch up. This just happened like two days ago. I decided to put my red Congo philodendron on this corner here. And I have my bird bath that is thrifted from Las Vegas as a plant stand. So I think it works out great. And then behind, you can't really see, but I have some propagation happening back there. My grandma decided to put some propagated babies back there. So it is what it is, but we have stuff propagating back there. And then I won't really go into detail of what's going on on the propagation station. I can always go through it with my greenhouse. So I have some things propagating here and the rest are in my greenhouse so that's my propagation station this is a quick little overview of my potting bench i love this potting bench so on the much bottom section here i have containers filled with houseplant soils i have planters ready and waiting to be used i have propagation vessels i have liquor balls soaked up there's a bunch of different things happening here and then on the top part here, I have peat moss, I have coco coir, leka balls, pumice, perlite, worm castings, orchid bark, fertilizer, and they're all in their containers. You can watch my DIY organizing video on how I organize my supplies on my channel. And then my famous potting tray, which I've used the hell out of it. It's pretty much cracked, but love this thing a lot. You can find this off of Amazon. I've used it in all of my planting videos. And then here are things that I like to house my soils in when I do my videos. So I think this one has coco cord and this one has houseplant soil. And just different things I like having. I have spray bottles here. I have things that I like to use for watering. I have smaller pots here on the top that are waiting to be used. And then my tools are all housed here. Propagation scissors, my shovels, tools for planting. I love this for like succulents and cacti. I even have a toothbrush to clean off the cactus and succulents. Pruning scissors, my moisture meters are here. And then I like using syringes for watering my smaller babies if I need precise water. My grandma got me these plastic dongs for my prickly babies. So all of my tools are here on the top. In this drawer, which I haven't shown in my last video, but I have all of my spray cans here. So all my spray cans is here, my air plant foods here, all of my gardening gloves is here. But everything that I do DIYs for, my spray paints all live here. And then my toolbox is living in this section here. So let's talk about the last three plant babies. So this is what's currently living on my door. I have my Hoya Crinkle 8 here and I love having the Crinkle 8 in my collection. I do have a few babies from this mother plant that's up for sale in my greenhouse. I have my Senecio here, my beautiful trailing jade living here, as well as another Hoya Carnosa tricolor. And it's all on macrame hangers, which I think is such a cute addition to the door. And I love the look. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up my very long part four of four patio plant tour for spring 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection broken down into four parts. And it's hard for me to be able to talk about each plant in depth. If not, I'll be here all day long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy all of the giveaways that I'm doing for the month of August. So let's go ahead and talk about the last giveaway. So again, very similar, you're gonna be getting a pruning scissors. I love these scissors for propagation and cleaning up my plants. You'll get a mister, which is small and compact, and you'll be getting a white planter. I love these planters a lot, and I use them throughout my collection. These are my favorite white planters, so you're gonna be getting this for today's giveaway. All of my giveaway rules are the same no matter what it is and when it is. You have to be subscribed to both of my channels, I Love Julian, Miss Julian here on YouTube, as well as following me on both of my Instagrams, underscore I Love Julian and Planting with Julian, as well as leaving a comment down below uh, your country, city, state that you live in and what is your current plant 
that you got for summer 2019 whatever it is i would like to I'll go ahead and i'll pick a winner one week from the time this video goes live on youtube so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i hope you guys enjoyed my summer 2019 plant tour i will go ahead and film my fall plant tour three months from now so you can see what my collection looks like throughout the year i hope you guys enjoy this series just as much as me and i hope you enjoyed seeing my four part series and how i style my plants with my space again i'm very fortunate to be able to live four miles from the beach in southern california where it's pretty much plant season all year long i don't have to bring my plants indoors during the winter or the summer so i am very blessed to be where i'm at where it's plant season all year long so i hope you guys enjoyed the tour i'll see you guys in the fall for my next tour but until then i'll be doing more collective videos more planting with julen videos if you're new welcome to the channel hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads you can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com I am so excited I'll be heading to the Philippines in a little over a week to celebrate my birthday I'll be doing Travel with Julin episodes for my vlog channel which I really love doing and I've been doing that longer I think than my main channel things I love travel vlogging just as much as plant life so I'm going to be doing that and I will be hopefully filming some plant content for the main channel as well so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me until next time Aloha from Santa Monica, California Bye.